over the, the stage, I assume it's Shaq. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, so we got Battle of the Blondes here going on. Yeah. Zero through Samus and Cloud. Gonna have to see who is able to come out to a stronger lead here in this game one. All right, this is gonna be interesting. A very dynamic match, I think, is a good way to put it. We're gonna see a lot of Zares, a lot of Nairs, some safe aerials because you do not want to hit Cloud Shield too hard with the wrong move. Already a very small amount of damage coming in, dead even. Yeah, like you mentioned, this match I'm gonna be night and day compared to the one that we just watched. Uh, neither of these two are gonna be looking to crack a lot of projectiles, a lot more in your face action happening here. Wow, that was a very ambitious grab. Working out for doorstop though. Good pressure at the ledge, and I love that parry. Stopping the approach from Ned. Yep, Ned's gonna have to figure out some better way to get back to center stage because he's playing uh, the majority of this match just on the left side. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, accidental immediate. Uh, <laughs> Almost would have worked, yeah. frankly, but yeah. not a lot ZSS can do in that situation with Cloud's just a little bit spaced out after that cross slash. Really good boost at F tilt and some good pressure from doorstop, but the yeah. grabs, I think, have been the star so far. Yeah, Ned very aware of that pressure as well. Oh. Uh, Zero Sam Samus, one of those characters you have to realize that just because she hit your shield doesn't mean you're able to just punish her. The poke oh. game doing extremely well for him oh. right now. Oh, <laughs> Even no. with the footstool, despite the fact that I doubt Ned was making it back. I feel right at home right now. This is uh, like shades of the Mars Zero Suit doorstop playing yeah. so confidently right now. Doing himself a little bit too much, so misses that up smash, but it doesn't matter. A couple good hits. It's going to allow him to get the stage back for himself. Some really good options from doorstop, scouting out some you know approaches from Ned. We yeah. saw the reverse up air on the ledge right there, but now Ned finally able to respond a little bit. Some good late aerials to put some pressure on. Yeah, he just did a slightly delayed forward there right there to take the cuts doorstop off guard. Who thought that maybe it was safe for him to go in for a hit of his Big parry and perfect time for the limit. That back air is going to set up for the edge guard, and now we have so many options here that doorstop is going to have to watch out for. Yes, indeed. Obviously, with a major change, though, going into all this Smash 4, you can just wait it out on the limit. So, mobility zero to Sam Pass. Have to imagine Doorstep doesn't really want to commit to anything as that limit is timed out, and there it is. Yeah, that's a very big deal for Doorstop. Now, a lot of, a lot of room, more room to breathe. Not yeah. too much, though. Ned's still looking for that back here and does find it, catching the jump off the ledge. Yeah, one of those things that Ned positions himself well to respond. Okay, some good up airs. That air dodge, ill advised. Some more pressure at the ledge, catching a little bit of that forward air. Doorstop is not letting up right now. Yep. And now sitting at a lower percent, I don't think Doorstop is as afraid of limits right now. Right. Um, you see high committal option point that gets hit. Yeah, only like nine damage though from that. Yeah. Not, not a big deal, like you're saying. Yeah, Doorstop still feeling pretty good. Getting that to the percentage where some kind of setup could lead to kills. You get a down smash, you have to be going for it right there. Yeah, of course, gonna do what he can to space away from that danger. Yeah, it's so tough. So many people have said it before, and I know everyone has felt it, but getting off of the ledge versus Cloud, that back air, even we saw yeah. reverse hit in air, you finally get on, hit his shield, and then you get hit by that climb hazard. It's so rough right now. The grab, though, yep, nice up tilt. Super fast option out of shield, but really good landing option, that down air from Ned. Oh, oh just apparently dodges it, just does not dodge that, though, as Ned's gonna be going into his final shot. Yeah, good, good bait there going for the side special, which is usually laggy, but not laggy enough to get by that get-up attack from Ned. Ned trying to respond, but zero suit disadvantage is so good. Yeah, the spacing on shields has been amazing, too. There's been so many situations right. where, uh, okay, Kim at that point, almost still happen. Wow. <laughs> Just does it. <laughs> Pops him right out. And, like, I feel like Doorstop has had a lot of the initiative, a lot of the, you know, just in the driver's seat for the most yeah. part, but it's still even and now like Ned with the slightest lead ever, still finding those hits yeah. when they matter. Yep. Yeah, it goes for the grab right there, but despite the fact that, you know, you're just having one of the laggier grabs, right. it's still um, short enough that she could get back to safety if Ned's far enough away. Okay, oh, big hit of the forward here, but that neutral was so good to break yep. it up. Missed tech on the platform. Yeah, Ned knew exactly what doorstop wanted right there. Right. Okay. That uphill, this is so tough. You do not want to be above the cloud, but that down here could be good. Yeah. But limit right on time for Ned. Um, so much shield pressure for both players here. You never know when it's safe to go into a poke. I know, and they're like crossing up. We see Doorstop going with these sort of like overshoot forward airs that yeah. are so, so sick. Off oh stage. no, the get up attack. Once again, not working out for Ned and Doorstop. We'll take it, the yep. down smash to the up special. Love to see that boost kick. That's gonna be just what Doorstop needed to come off to a good start. And you mentioned earlier how scary Cloud is with blood pressure, but even Zeus with Samus, it's, yeah. you never know what exactly you can do to get back on stage. Well, your options, right? Like you're thinking, I'm not gonna jump. I don't wanna yeah. get hit by up air, up air, you know? Yep. 
but if you do regular get up, you could get hit with neutral special yep. paralyzer, down smash paralyzer, the plasma whip, which has so many good hitboxes to drag you off. Yeah. And then we saw right there, even the get up attack can get outspaced by the down smash and lead into a kill mode. So it is really tough. Yeah. You do bring up a good point. Neither player is particularly safe off the stage or on the ledge. And in a perfect world, you'd have an entire minute to think about what would be the best option to right. get from the ledge. But in the heat of the moment like this, with the game this high tempo, you have half a second to think about what you want to do next. Yeah, talk about high tempo. That last stock, both of them were swinging back to back to back. It was very tense. It's crazy to have to make so many decisions in so little time. Yep. Already, though, doorstop stuck at the ledge, fighting back with that forward air. Nice. Okay, resets the situation. He tries to at least, but anyway. Wow, really good moving around the platform here from both players. It's going to be Ned jumping back in. Ooh. And risky dash attack. Door stop right there. Let me do it. He's a bit of damage from that. Okay. Back to neutral here. Ned kind of giving up a little bit of the stage control, and Doorstop is very happy to take it. But Ned fighting back. He's back here. Is so dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of going for it right now. Seeing what kind of hitboxes he can uh, make do with. Nice. But Doorstop very aware of what situation the dangerous to be in. I think in that situation, you just want to get that limit charge. You're not worried too much about taking the stock. Yeah. Oh no, what? I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't think Doorstop would have the time, but. Doorstop seems to have a really good handle on where uh, Ned likes to end up in the future interactions. You know, he's making it seem like he's also feeling him out. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, yeah. Let's get too much. But yeah, like Doorstop's making it look like he's also just moving around, trying to collect info, but he's already got all the info he needs, and he knows Ned's going to be at this moment in about two seconds, and that's how he's able to get that grab as well. Honestly, yeah, look at all these moves are scouted yep. out. Even some of those edge guards that didn't hit, Doorstop was in the right place, yep. just mistimed it ever so slightly. Fighting back now, that up tilt was huge. Nice little extension from Ned and the limit here, but Doorstop only at 48 on this first stop. Okay. So a little bit of a call out there, but Ned smart enough to continue holding on to shield. Ooh, okay. Looking for that back here. Gonna have to use that limit before it disappears. But it's yeah. just gonna get shielded. We got a back throw here to set up for the edge guard. Okay, I was gonna say, I believe Dorsal's gonna try to set up here for the potential air dodge on the stage. Dead nil not to do that, but still off stage, not able nice. to. Wow. <laughs> not able to connect to the ledge right there. It drops up applying so much pressure. Yeah, like, there's so, we saw Plasma, we saw the Zare, like, there's all these ledge traps, all these frame traps, too. Really oh. good stuff from Dorsal. Still holding on, only 62. Yeah. You're not too worried about getting hit with a dash attack from Cloud. Exactly. Yeah, I think Doorstop's obviously not, you know, letting off of the, of the, of the gas pump, but knows it can get away with a few more mistakes with how much the lead he has right now. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> looking for the approach. Ned, though, ever so patient at the ledge, looking for these safe hits, but it's going to be Doorstop still finding a way in. I'm surprised that up to coming too. <laughs> right? A little crazy. Okay. Nice grab. Whoa, almost had it. Had the right idea. Just did not hit the button and yeah, get that attack away. Good. That's not going to kill, though. Yeah, we're going to have to see another limit, perhaps. No, it's going to be the dash attack. Catching that drop down, jump from the ledge. Really good stuff from Ned. Trying to bring it back, but... It looks like he punished the grab there, for sure. Oh, true, true. Okay. A lot more wow. poking over that next spot dodge from Ned. Going to send him off stage once again. To the door stop. Keep applying that pressure. And put Ned in another situation where he might just... After you set up. I don't know, Ned's defense has gotten a little bit better. I think kind of catching on to what Doorstop has been putting out, but that Paralyzer might just be it. What a combo. I'm taking notes. Yeah, on. yeah sending the other way, though. Gets that back air just in time, and that's going to be Ned falling. Without taking more than one stock off the two hands. Yeah, no, which is kind of tough. You, you need to see some of those early stocks, but Doorstop just didn't take enough damage at first. So we saw these limit usage that were just like not taking the not taking the stock, not stealing the deal, right? Yeah. We saw limit blade beam do a little bit of damage. It ended up being a dash attack at the ledge at a high percent after three kind of misuses of the limit. It just seems like Ned never quite has limit when door stop is at a high percent. Exactly. <laughs> and obviously that's not coincidence. That's not that, that is by by design with the way door stop is playing this matchup. Yeah, door stop is facing pretty phenomenally. We've seen only picking really the right options. As I say that, probably the craziest dash attack getting hit with the limit cross or the regular cross yeah. ledge. Okay, I'm gonna get punished right there, but again, low percent right here. Okay. Like that catch trying to catch a jump. Finally we do see it catch the jump. That up here. So many hits. So good. Yeah. Given the sound of those hits, you would think the clap is higher than 65. Right. It's getting <laughs> clobbered right there. Whoever did like did the sound design overachieved and whoever did the damage calculation overachieved. <laughs> yeah. Wow, good air dodge. Not get around the assignment. 
good movement again, and the defensive Ooh. options. Oh, so perfect. Yeah, this is the first hit on that falling up air, but still gets some more anyway. Ooh, okay. Sneaks in the back air. That was huge. Very different game now. Doorstop a bit on the back foot, but that grab opens up the stage a lot. And we get oh, that. Oh, unfortunate. Can he get a kill off that? No, he does. The up, he comes through for Doorstop. And Ned just still struggling so hard at the ledge, but you can't blame him. He's playing cloud. True, true. We're going to see an oh, oh, interesting idea there with the up special. But Doorstop, I got to say, how many parries have we seen? I feel like every one that matters. Yeah. What? Even that didn't connect. Landing up air picked up Cloud before that smash attack could connect. Doorstop playing so very well right now. Yeah, Doorstop's mobility has just been so good for getting around these attacks hitboxes and swords. Watching that up air going for a pretty ambitious down smash and Ned finding that back air finally at a high enough percent. Really good stuff, trying to keep it close. Yeah, but a little bit of a slip by Doorstop there, dropping shields on the back air was still a possibility. Maybe just had a little bit too much faith because Ned was just going to empty hop and back away. Okay. Good pressure out of shield right there. And wow, love that movement around the grab. Yep. Sneak in the back air. And good movement at the ledge too, but Doorstop breaking out a couple of new tricks. Yeah, I think that could be the opportunity for Ned to try to bait out more of those grabs. Um, obviously, Doorstop is smart about how he uses it, but the it cross slides at the edge is going to do it for them. That was really good. Like you said, baiting out an option. We saw the Zare get parried and punished with that limit cross slash. Really good stuff. Now Ned finally with a comfortable lead and the dynamic shifts so very much. Now Ned kind of play back a little bit, charge some limit here and there, which is what we're seeing. Wait for Doorstop to approach, but Doorstop finds a grab. Yeah, just the entire set. Doorstop just has a good halt on where to put those grabs. And Ned wow. hasn't figured it out yet. Ned should probably be dead here. Oh no, misses right yeah, now. Grab the ledge. Doorstop probably was a bit confident too that he was dead, because I think he could have um, applied a little bit more pressure to prevent him from getting back. Wow, big forward air. All of a sudden, Doorstop at a dangerous percent here. Those back airs are almost coming out, and there is one setting up for another ledge guard limit. How oh, half full here. Yeah. Big damage. Yeah, Ned has a working adaptation figured out here. And you have a stock lead. Very close to lapping him in percent as well. Good. Tech. A good uh, like combo route there too. Doorstop to up smash, almost working out. No. Doorstop needs to watch out. Any limit hit could be the last one. Yeah, and I think this is like the longest we've seen Ned live on any one of his socks so far this time. Yeah. As Doorstop is really struggling to find the kill. Okay, looking for these back airs and the up smash also not connecting. That could have done it. That. Wow. Yeah. Really good stuff, really good spacing from Ned, yeah. specifically. And with this lead that Ned has now, we definitely see, wow. Uh, sorry, Zero Suit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with this lead that Ned has now, we're seeing him play a lot more safe, only waiting for an opportunity like that where he can punish that grab. All right, that was, that felt close, but it was a two stock from yeah. Ned. No, you're right, that did feel really close. So once it, I looked at the stocks and I was like, oh, he's uh, very close to winning this, actually. Yeah, uh, there was a lot more confidence, a lot of really good spacing, and the movement around Doorstop's options definitely improved in that. We saw some crazy, like, grab baits where door, Doorstop would go for it, and that would sort of jump over and hit him with the back air. Yeah. Like, really good stuff. Good adaptations. Yep. And that match, we were able to see a lot more mileage got from uh, Limit as well. That part. Might have cursed it by saying that he only had Limit in his low percent. Right. <laughs> We got some change of music and a big change of stage going into the small battlefield. I feel like that's a flex. Whenever you're specifically picking Tekken music, you're like, yeah, yeah I play Tekken. Right. <laughs> I play traditional fighters. Just, hey, come on, let's be real. How many Smashers know a lot of Tekken music? I, mean, I, I could be wrong, though. I'm sure they know exactly the ones that they put in Smash. That's yeah. it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Small battlefield is going to be a pretty solid counter pick. Still some really good platform arrangement for Doorstop, but a little bit more close quarters. And I feel like... That'll probably be better for Doorstop. As I say that though, it looks like Ned is the one smothering Doorstop here at the ledge. Two in a row, good back airs that Ned's able to sneak in there. Ooh, good timing on that get up. Unfortunately, the miss deck is going to turn into a lot of damage for Doorstop. 47 from those up airs. Up air, chance stick and cloud look like combo food. Yeah. Whoa, really good timing on that. Not getting the sweetest of spots, but still yeah. good pressure. Can't, also can't fault Ned for going for that uh, late beam right there. Right, right. There's a high probability that Super Super Samus would be recovering high. Oh, yeah. Honestly, if you just throw out a move. Wow, that was quite the mix up. You got to be careful which moves you throw out, though. Yep. The empty hop there. Possibly baiting Doorstop into thinking that Ned was going to go for a grab. Ooh, okay. The jab flanking looks like with the up tilt. 
Bazaar getting beat out too. Ned going kind of crazy right now. Yep. Wow. His spacing is a lot more clean. Yeah. Because I think in the first two games we saw Ned getting hit by a lot of grabs. Right. And now we've already seen like three or four whipped ones from Doorstop. Yep. Yep. Big difference. Good. He's also getting a handle on where Doorstop on the field. That's an accidental cross yeah. slap right there, but it's okay. Barely missing that down smash follow up. Really good movement here from Doorstop though. Feeling good. Evening it up 2-2, two to two, but 60%, still a solid lead for Ned. Yeah, Doorstop Dorf Dorf realizing Ned likely wasn't going to be going to the ledge there. Exactly. Okay. Good poke. Relatively low percent for both of them. Interesting. Trying to hold down center stage, let go of that shield. Wow. Big dash attack. Okay, the recover low does not get anything from that down tilt. Back airs though, you know, throw out so many of them, one of them's got a hit. Oh, okay, so looks like he went for the up smash there. I'm wondering what he was predicting your stop would do after that. Normally, they're just gonna continue jabbing after a trial hit like that. We saw maybe like once or twice, your stop went for just like jab one and yeah. something else. So maybe he's trying to read that option again. Really good movement from Dorstop yeah. trying to extend those forward tilts, but that back air oh, and the up air. Yeah, a little bit too much hopping right there. Then with the up air, to send him to his final stock in game four. Okay, good pressure, a really nice tech out. It may seem silly, but you don't want to get caught rolling in for a zero suit. Ned probably very happy he jumped from the ledge right there. Right. Okay, Climb Hazard not connecting that second yeah. hit, and what a turnaround. Yeah, gonna get punished for it. Oh no, not gonna take the stock, but what a bad spot for Ned. Making it back though. Okay, nice. Gets a grab, but Julius Samus Hobbs not having any kill throws, but comes down with that back air. Right in the face of Cloud. Yeah, that blade being very laggy. Yep. Unfortunately, a lot of cooldown. Doorstop was ready for it. Yeah, things are relatively tied up now. Yeah. Wow, crossing up with the back air into the jab. Really good pressure. And he finally gets that grab. Yep. And watch out, Ned, oh. somehow making it back. All right, Doorstop on the cusp of getting a 3-1 victory over Ned. Ned has to continue applying the adaptation that he made after game 22. Wow, crouching under that back air, getting the grab and keeping this pressure on, rolling in. Very ambitious, but that forward air, so that very forward good. air. Is that gonna be enough to give him the momentum? It not looks, quite. It looks like it might be, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the limit's gone. Trying to go for an option. Finally able to get back to center stage right there. Good delay on his recovery, right. but still struggling to get back on the ledge. So dangerous trying to deal with this zero suit. Samus right now, continue to poke, continue to apply pressure. And the back air is gonna be just enough to make it a 3-1 victory for doorstop over Ned. Awesome, awesome play at the ledge right there. So much pressure, but unfortunately Ned just got caught jumping from the ledge a few too many times and we saw exactly